Final fives, man. So we open the show here with uh, the nerves. There it is. 1976, hanging on the telephone. Undeniably, one of the coolest power pop songs, man. Uh, you know, an excellent tune. This whole comp is fantastic. You know, I got a funny uh, story that I read about in this book. In the uh, Paul Collins wrote a book, "My Wild Ride Through the Punk and Power Pop Trenches." I don't fit in. And there's a story in this book uh, where they sent this song to uh, Blondie, and Blondie wrote a letter back, and, and the letter just said bluntly, this is the worst shit we've ever heard. <laughs> and two years later, it's uh, the lead-off track on 1978's Parallel Lines. Uh, it's a pretty wild story, man, but uh, the, uh, the Nerves version, I think, is far superior to the Blondie version, in my opinion, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, man, 1976, the nerves hanging on the telephone, uh, a Jack Lee classic there, man. Uh, but I got a great vinyl finds planned for you, man. We, we started out in 76 with the nerves. We're going to check out an excellent power pop record. It was recorded in 79. The original came out in 80. Uh, then we're going to go to 1982 for a little bit more of the rougher stuff. And uh, then we're going to stay in 82, kind of merge into 83 with one band. Uh, they have a, a, a comp out, and it's excellent stuff. A little more debaucherous rock and roll. Uh, then we're going to go to, uh, this is a great, like, a proto-punk garage slasher from 1969. And we're going to close it with an installment of one of my favorite punk uh, comp series. So uh, this is going to be a lot of great records, man. Let's have some fun. And raise one with the kid. Have one with the kid, baby. Cheers, everybody. Come on. This is when you find out, man. That's good stuff. Yeah, the nerve. What an excellent band. That, that book is really worth a read, man. This is an excellent comp, man. One-way ticket, paper dolls hanging on the telephone. When you find out, uh, working too hard. There's so many great songs on it. But uh, so that was from 76, The Nerves, uh, a classic. I think a lot of people know that one. Uh, this first record I'm going to show, uh, that Nerves isn't a vinyl find, but it reminds me of the first record I'm going to show. And uh, the original of this uh, single came out in 1980. And uh, this, it was just released, and it's the demos from the year prior. So this was recorded in 1979. And it's by a band called The Letters, uh, the Pickwick Tapes. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, you know, it's a picture disc, but whatever, man. It, it's the only way I could get it. I and mean, even the reissue, there was a reissue a couple years ago of, uh, of that 1980 single. And now even the reissue is like skyrocketed in price. But uh, the first time I ever heard this band was on this Back to Front Volume 1 Uh it was the, the B-side to this song, uh, and the B-side is called uh, Don't Want You Back, and it's a really, really great song, and uh, th this is the back, this, this comp turned me on to a lot of stuff, like I heard a lot of bands for the first time when I heard, when I heard this, uh, Razor, Stamp Out, Disco, uh, Cracked Actor, the single Nazi School, uh, The Bastards, Impossibilities, that got reissued, I showed that a couple months ago, The Blitz Boys, there's so many great bands on this, uh, on this comp. Nasty Facts, Drive My Car. Yeah, check this out, Back to Front, Volume 1. That's the first time I ever heard the letters. 
But uh, once you hear this song, man, it's, you know, I, I said it in a couple videos ago, a while ago, that my favorite power pop song probably ever is The Elevators, Your Eyes Are Too Close Together. And uh, this, this, uh, this song, the first song I'm going to play, man, it, it's, it's up there. It's a really great power pop song. Um, and what was cool about this release was they give you the A and the B side, the demos of those, but there's more songs on it that are just really great songs, man. So I'm going to play it, and um, I'm going to uh, show you some records I brought out, like always. You know, we're going to have some fun. So let's get into it with the vinyl finds from 1979, The Letters. And uh, uh, this is a song called Nobody Loves Me. A great tune, man. Power Pop Bliss. Check it out. Check it out. Here we go. <laughs> song that I heard on the uh, Loud Fast Rules comp. Teen line compilation, 
ultra rare power pop. There's eight volumes. I think you can get them for like 30 bucks on, on cassette, man. Just excellent stuff. It's taken me a while to uh, get through. I'm, I think I'm through like five now. Because there's like 30 songs on each one. Just singles you're never going to see. You know? Let's rock a little more with the letters. And like I said, the demos give you a little bit more, uh, like, you know, uh, stuff I never heard, man, because I heard those two songs and I love them. That's what I wanted to present to you because I, I think they're the strongest songs on this. But um, I Don't Love You Anymore. We heard a little bit of that track. That was the second track. It was really good. Uh, but the B-side, Another Weekend and uh, uh, Something Wrong, uh, really go more toward the... Uh, the power pop side of things, uh, the poppier side. But really good, more along the lines of that Bozo single that I showed, Weekend Girl. Check that out. If you like uh, really sweet power pop, you'll love that Bozo stuff. But uh, yeah, the letters, when I saw, that was Detour Records that put that out. It's this year. And uh, they're doing this whole line of like picture discs. And I'm not huge on picture discs, but that sounded good. And I, you know, I got nothing against them. I, the thing is too, like, you know, you put the, the picture disc on and you can't look at anything while you're listening to it. I want to stare at the cover and whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was the letters from 79 and then it came out, the uh, the actual release, the, the re-recording of it. The official release came out in 1980. So now we're going to go to 1982 for, like I said, a little bit more of the rougher stuff. And this is an absolute kill-by-death classic. In fact, that's where I first heard this single. <laughs> and uh, No Plan Records just uh, reissued it this year. And I was really pumped. I mean, you can get it, I think you can get an original maybe for like 70 bucks. But I, hey, I'm more than happy to, to pull the trigger on a, on a reissue for $8.99. Yeah. But uh, it's this band here. The, the EP is called Ready to Rot from the UK. It's Black Easter. An absolute, like I said, killed by death classic, man. We gotta, we gotta blast this, man. You're gonna love this stuff. If you haven't heard this, this is this is a killer tune, man. All right, let's do it. Let's see. Uh, here we go. So it starts off with uh, a "Day of the Jackal," which is a great song, but you know th what's putting asses in the seats is the second song. It's called "What the Fuck," and it's a great song. And hey, it's something we've all said, you know, at least once a day. <laughs> uh, this is Black Easter. What the fuck? You're born in the sixties. You're born too late. Thank you. 
EP uh, called What the Fuck, and, and uh, their, I think their, their biggest song, right? And uh, I actually heard it on the, uh, for the first time, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times these comps turn you on to a lot of good bands, so I like buying comps, but I heard it on uh, Killed by Death Volume 5. It's got some other great stuff on it. It's the first track. Actually, that Nub's job is on there. Exterminators, Microwave Radiation. I've shown that before. Uh, the Stalin. That's what this cover is here. Uh, Hubble Bubble. Great stuff, man. Oh, there's so many good. There's so many good names. There's a cracked actor, too. It's on that other comp, too. We're, we're going full circle. The Kids, No Monarchy, Neo Punks. Just great stuff. Uh, Kill by Death, Volume 5. And, uh... <laughs> I'm going to play uh, the first song on a Day of the Jackal. It's got a little heavy riff. I think even the metalheads will dig. But, uh, I'm, and while I play that, I'm going to show you some, uh, some more records I brought out that reminded me of it. So let's, let's get into uh, Day of the Jackal. It's got a really good solo, too. I think you're going to like it. Yeah, this is Black Easter, the EP Ready to Rot. And there's the song Day of the Jackal. <laughs> originally from 1982, just reissued on No Plan Records. Check it out, it's really cool. They did a really good job on the packaging, man. Uh, cover looks good, that uh, that insert is freaking awesome, man. I love it. I love seeing the pictures, uh, getting to read the lyrics, really cool. And uh, a record, I think I showed it last week, I'm not sure if I showed it, or the week before, maybe. But uh, was this uh, GTRRC, the Good Times Rock and Roll Comp, and uh, Research Reactor Corporation, who I saw at Gonerfest, they do a cover of uh, What the Fuck by Black Easter. It's great, man. Uh, and it's also on this uh, their U.S. tour tape. It's the, the last song on it. There, one second. Yeah, well, there it is. Yeah, What the Fuck by Black Easter. Great stuff, man. They did a great job uh, recording that, man. So now we're going to get to some... Uh, some some debaucherous Los Angeles punk rock and roll. 
I mean, uh, if you're looking for your main line, you found it right here, baby. Come on. And uh, it is uh, the discography, volume one by the Joneses. And I was so happy that this got pressed again because I missed out on it when it first came out. And this is such a great, fun rock and roll party record, man. I love it. It's perfect for this video. It's perfect for a Saturday night. And uh, I'm going to play you some tunes off of it. The Joneses were great, man. And uh, I'm really happy to have this record. And I, of course, I pulled out some cool records to show you uh, while we played this. But uh, I want to play the second song. The first song, Jonestown, is really cool. Because, like, I've spoke about this before. There's, like, a lot of, like, punk bands, like, in the 70s that did, like, they, they kind of delved into, like, the, the dub and reggae stuff. And uh, some of them actually did it really well, but... Some, some of them really stink. I mean, let's be honest. Like, I really don't like when bands go that direction. And I put on the first song, uh, Jonestown, on this, on this uh, compilation. I loved it, though. It, it's still, like, really dirty and, like, grungy uh, and gritty. But uh, it has that kind of reggae style, uh, especially with the, the, the guitar, the little staccato thing going on there. And it's, it's really good, man. I, I like it a lot. But uh, I think my favorite song is the second song. And it's uh, Criminals in My Car. That's from the Jonestown EP from 1982. Like I was saying, we're going to like kind of merge 82, 83, because the B-side of this has recordings from 83. But uh, let's listen to Criminals in My Car by the Joneses. This also has a really cool book. mustaches on some of the guys. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I think that's pretty funny. The, uh, that was, uh, oh shit. That was, uh, uh, <laughs> Criminals in My Car. And then the next song was Crocodile Rock. The pretty cool cover, but, uh, the next song I want to play is Pillbox. Pillbox is a really fun song. Let's see. Yeah, number five. <laughs> Jones, you love the devil dog. 
real wild rockabilly wave up kind of number. And it reminds me of uh, the Xanthes rocking in the house. Great stuff. Actually, like Goner got both, but I missed out on the other one. But yeah, here's the label. The Joneses, Discography Volume 1. Hey, sorry about the scratch. You don't drink and play. <laughs> That's what happens. But uh, yeah, there's the Joneses right there. Great cover. Love that stuff, man. All right, so the next one. This is a really cool one. I'm really excited to show you. Uh, it's from 1969. And... Uh, from Long Island, New York, and it's the only single this band put out, and it was, uh, it's a really great, just wild garage punk banger, man, uh, and it was reissued by Mighty Mouth, uh, it, this year, actually, and, uh, I didn't know who this band was, but I have a bunch of stuff on Mighty Mouth, and I really love their label, so I said, if I see the label, I'm gonna get it, so I'll pick it up, and, uh, Dude, this is this is excellent, man. You're gonna love this this single here. Where's my 45 adapter? Oh, here it is. All right, sorry. Whoa. All right. So this is the song by. Uh, it's a band called the Neighborhood Blues Boys from 1969, Long Island, New York, and it's a, a song called Slave Girl. <laughs> and this is a raunchy, rocking 60s number, 1969. And uh, I think you're going to love it, man. This is really cool. Uh, check it out. Here we go. I didn't bring anything out because I wanted, I wanted to just listen to this and rock to it together. Two minutes. I think it's like 157. 
It's perfect, man. It's a perfect tune. I love it. And uh, the funny thing about it is, uh, here's the A side right here. We just heard uh, Slave Girl. But if you flip it around, it's in reverse, the name of the uh, the song. And the B side is actually this song backwards. And uh, it's funny, but it's awful. You know, it's kind of unlistenable. It's funny for the first time, you know. <laughs> But we're going to close the show here right now, man. And uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, always good to hang out. And uh, we're going to do it again soon. But uh, this is a record uh, that I, I was telling you about. One of my favorite uh, punk comp series was Killed by Death. There's Bored Teenagers. There's Power Pearls. There's Teenage Streets. There's so many. And this is Bloodstains. And this is Bloodstains across Northern Ireland. And I was really pumped when this came into the shop. Uh, you know, there's some obvious ones like, you know, Rudy and Protex and stuff like that. But uh, there's some stuff I never heard. Uh, the Detonators Cruising is great, especially if you love, like, if you're a fan of, like, New Wave British Heavy Metal or, like, Left Hand Drive or uh, the Daryl Reed Group and stuff like that. Uh, really, really good stuff. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the song I'm going to play, and I bought it uh, for two songs. One was the Androids. Uh, Bondage in Belfast, but I saw that that actually got reissued lately. Uh, I think this year. Uh, but I bought it for the last song on the A-side, Victim, The Teenage. And uh, I've wanted that single for a long time. So we're going to close the show with The Victim's uh, Teenage. It's a really great punk tune from Northern Ireland, man. I think you're going to love it. And what's weird about this one, this comp too, is uh, on the... Uh, on the B-side, the A-side track listing is right, but the B-side excludes two songs at the end. Because I'm like, I'm listening to it, you know, I'm going through, and then they have this really cool, like, write-ups on the back. And there's, like, two more songs, and I'm like, okay. After seven, I'm like, what is this? You know? <laughs> but I looked it up, and it, 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 it's pretty cool that, you know, that they did it. I think they, uh, they excluded the Moon Dogs. Everybody knew that song, you said... I think it was the B-side to their single uh, from like eight, 1980? Is that, no, it was 80, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, uh, Victim.